Hey, what's up? Good morning. It's your boy Donovan Williams. It's the money baby. Whatever you may have it. Um, so woke up early this morning. Woke up like at like at like two thirty three. And then went back to bed and woke back up again around five. And then just laid there. And it's like, damn, I just noticed what was going on when I was laying down in the bed early this morning, just reading, just reading, just reading. I was like, damn. So, like, I think the first thing that I had saw was it wasn't even the Vegas shooting that came up on my own information feed. My information feed was telling me things about um, Canada. <laughs> Some, it was telling about Canada. That's the first thing that I had learned about when I woke up this morning. Oh yeah, and today is my birthday. It's, it's, it's October 2nd, huh? I don't even be paying attention to that most of the time. It is my birthday. I'm 32 today, 32 years old. Damn. Um. So, in Edmonton, a refugee, the, what it's saying is a refugee was arrested over terror attack. A Somali-born refugee has been arrested in connection with attacks in Edmonton, Alberta, in which five people were injured, officials say. The unnamed 30-year-old man is suspected of stabbing a policeman and injuring four pedestrians on Saturday. The officer was controlling traffic at a Canadian football league game when he was struck by the car at high speed and then attacked with a knife. Yeah, he did that on purpose. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau um, has also called it a terrorist attack. Okay, so they're calling it a terrorist attack. Um, Edmonton officials say that suspect could face terror and murder related charges. They add that he might be known to police for believing in extremist ideology. Ideology. So yeah, there's that. I learned about that. And then like, of course, right after that, I learned about what happened in Vegas. So like, I was like, damn. So like, what happened in Vegas? What happened in Vegas was like, I think it was, these have to be related somehow. They have to be related somehow somehow some way so in vegas see in vegas they're calling it a shooting las vegas shooting more than 50 dead at madeley bay hotel this is the part that like as as a human being named donovan williams i guess um more than 50 people have been killed and hundreds injured in a mass shooting at a las vegas Reese concert a gunman Named as 64-year-old Nevada resident Stephen Pata opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Madeley Bay Hotel towards a open-air music festival attended by 22,000 people. He killed himself as police stormed the room where 10 guns were found. In an address from the White House, President Donald Trump described the attack as pure evil. So we got one, one dude in Canada, prime minister, talking about the Somalian guy who jumped in the whip, jumped in the car, jumped in the vehicle, and he floored it. I looked at the video. It's pretty, it's, it's graphic, but you don't get to see like blood or gore, but you see what happens. He floors the, he floored the vehicle to hit the cop. The cop was doing traffic. The cop guy hit, the dude hopped out the car while the cop was on the ground panicking. And he did a, like a jujitsu back hold 
where he was holding them like he was his turtle shell. He was turtle shelling them from the backside and he slid his throat open. Yeah, he did that shit intentionally. So did this guy sitting on the 36th floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, who isn't Somalian, he's American. So this guy is being called a shooter. This is what I'm just noticing about this shit. This is straight disgusting. It's all terrorism. There is no separation between one man driving a car into a traffic cop and then slicing his throat. And then this man just shot like over like 150, like 50 to 100 people. Easy. Easy. 50 to 100. Easy. I'm just saying. But how do they distinguish that just label this Caucasian man as a shooter and not a terrorist? Terror? It don't. It don't make sense. That's how I'm seeing it. I'm like, damn, what the hell is going on here? But it's like, damn, it sucks. Like, this is just the beginning. On the real, this is just the beginning. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say it first if I'm not the first. Like, this is just the beginning. You guys better get ready for 2018 and, and every year after that. Because this shit's about to get real bad. Because, um, yeah, you niggas better get ready. You ladies better get ready. You better get your kids ready for the stuff that's going on because there's no joke. Like, the, I don't think people understand the psychological part of life. That's what I think. That's what I believe, at least. Like, they don't understand that psychological part, like, at all. Like, they don't. People don't study psycho psychology. They don't learn about themselves. They don't learn about their emotions and their inner feelings and what and how to control them. Nothing like that. So, my bad. So basically, when people don't know how to deal with what's going on inside, they look outside for release. And um, it's going to be a lot of stuff going down. Like, they're calling it, they're going to call it, it's going to be shootings, bombings. It's going to be all kinds of stuff going on in the future. And um, you guys need to be ready. If you guys can't take real life experiences to your advantage, then I really don't know what to say because like, I ain't trying to brag or boast. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. What I am saying is you better have your shit, okay? Cause they gonna come, you ready or not? Nigga, don't bring a gun to a knife fight or a knife to a gunfight. Like, they are going out of here. They are shooting people like... It's, it's like a freaking video game, people. Like, now, like, you know, I got to walk around with mines all day because of this shit, bro. I ain't playing. You want some problems? I got you. Okay? I got 45... Yeah, 45, bro. Like, you people need to get with the program... Because they ain't playing. Like, the world is coming to an age of evolution and change where people aren't, they just aren't able to cope with society anymore. They're not able to go out and buy things and, and be happy anymore. Like, that's how the world's been built. Like, haven't you noticed that the society that we live in is a consumer-based society? It's all about buying something most of the time. Like, whenever you look on TV, what does it happen? Well, you got commercials that want you to buy shit. But I'm, a, I'm not going to get off subject too much. i just trying to, like, really 
understand this shit and maybe you guys can understand this shit with me because it's more than what the TV and the news stations tell you. It got a lot to do. Like what the news stations aren't going to tell you is if the guy in Vegas that was shooting, they're probably not going to tell you if he was a veteran or not. They're not going to tell you if he was in Vietnam or not. They're not going to tell you if he suffered from PTSD or not. They're not going to tell you if he was on psych meds or not. They're not going to tell you that stuff off the back. Like, it might take years upon years for that shit to come out. I'm talking about, like, 10 to 15. But I'm just saying, like, there's, like, so much stuff. Like, yeah, it's a sad story and all, but, like, we have to get down to the source of the problem. We just can't keep patching it up and covering up for these people who don't want certain things to be talked about and known. It has to be for things to get better. You have to, let's say, um, you have to understand and see the darkness before you could receive the light. You can't really see the light really fully without knowing what's bad. Um, so yeah, and then like, I got this for you too. Like I got my psychology, I got my psychology book out. Um, so like it's, a, it's called interpersonal aggression. That's what this is called. It's called interpersonal aggression. And, um, I'm just going to read this little chapter for you. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. So, because well, interpersonal, yeah, it's a very long uh, chapter in the, so, in the psychology book I have. So, yeah, I'm just going to read a little bit. Um, but they got this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. from 1992. It says, nonviolence means avoiding not only external physical violence, but also internal violence of spirit. You not only refuse to shoot a man, but you refuse to hate him as well. Um, and here it goes. Okay, so look, on July 22nd, 2011, a 32-year-old Noringen man, Anders Bayring Brivik, first set a bomb near a government building in Oslo, killing eight people, then went to a youth summer camp when he shot and killed 69 young people and camp counselors. Damn. Although some observers have suggested that mental health problems contributed to Brevik's horrendous actions, many of the factors known to contribute to the aggression is generally likely played a role as well. He was a isolated man full of hostile feelings who had experienced failure and frustrations in his life. He will have he was also a fan of violent electronic media and hate filled right wing websites. In the second case, a 14-year-old Australian girl named Chanel Ray committed suicide after being the target of repeated cyberbullying. As her mother told news reporters, Friday night she was on the internet and told me about some messages that had come through and she wanted to die because of the messages. I can't guarantee you if she didn't go on the internet Friday night, she'd be alive today. Cyberbullying can evolve behaviors such as posting rumors and insults and uploading embarrassing photos, videos, and computer viruses. Because cyber socializing is so prevalent in today's world, cyberbullying is a particularly evasive form of bullying. It can follow the victim home or anywhere with internet access because of repeated instances of tragedies such as this. Many states have enacted laws against cyberbullying. Now, how was this man's psychological issues? We know the one man from Somalia has some issues because he had a, uh, 
aggressive, terroristic ideology in mind is what they were describing him by, but this dude in Vegas, Jesus Christ. I'm so glad I don't go to Vegas no more. Damn. So, this dude in Vegas, though, they're not calling him a terrorist. I'm just saying. But this is just another way for them to fuel the masses of people. Like, for that, that, that's why I say, like, it don't make sense. Like, how that happened in Vegas and a few hours later that happened in Canada. You got to think about that shit. I'm just saying, like, in Vegas, a white dude did something in the... <laughs> In Canada, the uh, African Somalian dude did something like that. Shit is intriguing as hell, isn't it? Like information, smart and intellectual peoples. Like, isn't that shit like intriguing as hell? How this African dude, a few hours later, after this white dude in Vegas did some shit like that. Shit is weird to me, like on a real. So, 2018 coming though, what y'all gonna do? Y'all ready? Like, y'all ready for like real, really some world chaos type shit? Like, cause that's what's happening. Like, if you, if you don't see it now, then it's gonna be too late when you do. Basically... I'm just trying to put my mind around this shit, dude. On a real. Like, dude just sat up in a hotel on the 36th floor and just looked down like, like, what the hell was going through his head, though? Like, Like, he must have been really messed up in the head. Straight up. Something happened. Snapped. Broke. <laughs> Something. Shit. I'm looking at that video about the dude in Somalia like that. Dude in Somalia look like... Like, that's what that nigga do. Like... That's what he does, like, on a real, like, kill people. If you watch that video about the dude in Somalia, damn, you're going to be like, what the hell? He was targeting the cop. <laughs> but, um, besides that, I went to the fair yesterday. And uh, currently working on some photos I took. Um, let's see. Yep, I got uh some more photos of animals, uh, spiders, snakes. Uh, I think I got a um. Which one I call it? Uh, one of those. Uh, I think it might be a parrot. I think it's a parrot, a bird, big bird, like kind of a big bird, but not like you know. Oh yeah, and shout out to the homie, uh, Jaime Yogi Lokes. I saw him at the fair yesterday. What's up, Jaime? That's my dude. Top left, represent. Yeah, 2018 is going to be the year. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys see another attack, like, before the year's over. Like, some type of shooting, bomb, whatever you may have it. Let's see. 
Yeah. Much love and everything else of good feelings that I could come up with for people in Canada and people in Vegas, Edmonton. You guys got my love and respect all day. So, uh, man, it's tough. It's a tough world. And um, like I said, with the shit that's going on, if you guys ain't paying attention, it's time for you to go get your shit. Because, you know, someone gets to shooting at you and you can't shoot back. Where does that leave you? Think about that.